ahead. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting bereaved parents to become shining light parents by providing support and resources to aid in the healing process. We go a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and evidence for the afterlife in a non-dogmatic way. Affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background. Attendance today at this meeting is voluntary, and we are here for the benefit of learning from and sharing with other parents whose child has passed away. It is understood that our discussions are intended to be confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. However, these Zoom meetings are helpful to parents all around the world, and they are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members who are not able to attend this meeting live can also watch. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers to allow parents to be informed about many possible ways to heal, to connect with their children, and to learn about the afterlife. The views expressed by our guests do not necessarily reflect those of Helping Parents Heal, and we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Welcome, everyone. And again, welcome, Isabella, and thank you for being here. Oh, and thank you. I'm so thrilled that Isabella is here. And I'm just going to say a little bit about her because um, I don't know if, if all of you know all that she does. She's, she's so amazing. She's uh, an advanced fourth generation intuitive who brings her experience, gifts, and guides into the current moment in time. She is able to assist with the help of spirit and guides to connect with those around you in this life or those who have passed on to the spirit world. She is a clairvoyant who channels messages, bringing your unanswered questions to light and completing the circle of enlightenment to you. Her skills have also been used professionally with remote viewing, empath and psychometry, ability to uh, obtain information from objects, Working with search and rescue groups, missing and endangered persons, she has been able to add her skills uh, to locating missing persons and clues to their disappearance, helping professionals resolve uh, cases. The ability to connect with the deceased and find their crime scene, points of recognition or markers, visualizing from the deceased those moments that might provide insight to solve the case now have become valuable assets to family and law professionals. With only, uh, with, excuse me, with over 35 years experience, she has assisted people to receive clarity and messages from loved ones departed. She has the re gift of reading one's soul, the real true life essence of who we are and why we are here. Explaining why we've chosen partners in this life and what past karmic ties us to them now. <clears throat> As a healer, she shifts and removes negative energy stagnated within the relationship, giving clearer pathways to move forward in life. Isabella is also a shining light mom, as you all know, and she's also one of our one of our most beloved presenters, I must say. She's just somebody that everyone loves so much. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming Isabella Johnson. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a lot to say. Basically, I'm a medium. That's where I find my sweet spot in all of this. I absolutely love this part of my life. And thank you so much for the opportunity to do this this evening. Thank you so much. Um, so I was letting Elizabeth and Irene know today was mostly my day off. I had one client and then I had uh, I got some lash extensions put on. So I had to be laying very still all day long. I have had so many children around. So I have a little bit of a list of people that I promised that I would talk about before we even start. These were just people, kids that showed up today. Um, I guess we'll do it the way that we've done it in the past. With I'll just give you some descriptives. If you know who this is, let me know. Um, first person, um, who has lost two sons? That's the first one that I would like to do, two sons. Um, when I was laying down today, they just kept going, she's lost his both. She's lost his both. She's lost his both. They just kept talking about two sons, two sons. Look to be in their late teens, early twenties to me. I wouldn't get stuck on that late teen part, but I would go 17, 18, 19, maybe up into 27, 28. 
And there seemed to be some competition between these two boys. I will put it that way. Put 20 to 20, that might actually be it. We have- um, I, I, felt, I felt that these two young men um, would take some responsibility for their transition. Very unexpected, but they would take some uh, responsibility, both of them. Does that help narrow it down at all? Um, um, we probably have six or eight people that are responding as well. Um, I'll just keep going. So the, the two boys, um, very, very, um, very outspoken. If there was something on their mind that they wanted to say, they were not afraid to do it. A couple of, one of them showed me a little bit of aggression in life, but just loved his family so very much, really loves his family. Um, they just kept talking about the way that they talked was unique as well too. Any help? <sighs> we, uh, let's if see. you connect with a, either of these, it's, yeah, I think it is Anna. I really do think it is okay. Anna, but I'm not, it, it, listen, I will just say that the two boys, they're getting along so much better now, really supporting each other and just cheerling. I do feel like there maybe is one sibling still at home with this group. I don't know if it's three boys, but I just feel like there's maybe one more sibling at home because they kept showing me somebody at home that they were watching over a great deal. I asked Anna to unmute. Okay, let's have Anna come. Quite exciting. Come okay. on, Anna. Thanks everybody. Hello. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. I think these Hi. might be your He's boys. I think up. they might be your boys. Um, they just wanted me to say how much they loved. They love you so much that they are with you all. Do you have one more son? Yes, okay. two. Two more, Honor. okay, but they, okay, they showed me one, I know one other child that they showed me here that just very watchful, like, she doesn't have to worry, nothing to worry about with this one, and I felt like you might not trust that a great deal, or whoever the parent was might have just a lot of concerns about that. They just wanted me to tell you they are doing really well, and it almost felt like this would not be a surprise. Wow, it's so, it, I have to admit, there's, it's so interesting that you say that and they came forward because my son on, in school earth, Caesar, just came out from a horrible accident, car accident, and we don't know how he came out. Uh, I would, uh, th this has got to be for you then. Okay, so listen, yeah. I didn't get a look at them because I was laying down getting my lash extensions put on. So my eyes were closed, but they, they were really just kept touching me. He is okay. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. The, uh, the child left is absolutely going to be fine. It felt like, is there a little bit of rehab that that child has to do? Or any kind of physical, it, it, I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't really tell because there was like yes. 80 kids around at that time, but they were just the loudest on me in that moment. Please yes. know, please know, going to be okay. Um, I would say that they felt like guardian angels to me for whoever the child is left. It, they were just like, all is well, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Oh. Um, were they a little competitive when they were here and like most brothers? Very. That went on at the beginning of when, I, when they started talking, because one was like, I'm talking to her and they was like, no, 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 me. So it was a little bit of that back and forth, but Always, they were yes. just doing beautifully, just absolutely very beautifully. So I, I hope that helps oh. Anna and I will keep your other son in my prayers as well. I know he's gonna be fine, but I'll just keep him in my prayers and you as well. And it's amazing. He does need rehab is exactly what he needs. Rehab after okay. this accident. Yeah. Is wow. he a little bit, um, how, how long has he been out of the hospital? A day. Okay. Okay. So I would not, the only other part that I got is that the young male that they were still the brother or the sibling that they were watching felt kind of scared of like going back out in the world. I just feel a lot of like looking around. So maybe there is some agoraphobia that's coming with that or just a sense of a fear. They said, that's yes, going to pass too. That's absolutely going to pass too. It's just going to pass. He's in he just, shock. He's, he's still in shock. He's, he's just still can't believe he's alive. He's still in shock. Okay. Oh, how scary for you. Absolutely. But the thing that gave me such comfort was they said, you don't need to worry about it. I, I had no idea it was that severe that they were talking about um I would have reached out to you if I would have known it was you Anna but like they just showed me everything's going to be okay the child left going to be okay absolutely going to be okay oof wow thank you wow
Well, thank them. I'm just the messenger. As I was telling Elizabeth and I, I am a poor substitute for everyone in spirit. I just try my best to get the messages across as, as best as I can. So what's his first name, the child that's still here? Caesar. Caesar. Okay. I'll just add him. I'll be praying for him and you both. Everything thank will you. be okay with that. Thank You're you. You're in my thoughts, Anna. Okay. Thank I hope you. that helped a little bit. I'm it sorry. Does. I've got so uh, many people coming through. Um, the next one that I wanted to go to, uh, young, young male, um, I felt cancer with this young man, and I I put him in his 30s, but I'm going to maybe even push that to like 35 to 39, although I did write down 36 to 38. Um, he talked about his family being all around him as he transitioned, um, and he said it was so peaceful, so peaceful. Does anyone really connect with the young male that passed of cancer? This did not feel yesterday as well either. This, this felt like maybe it was a year plus ago. Um, we have one saying that he was 20 and it was three years ago. So yeah, this, this didn't feel as recent as maybe a couple of the others. Okay. So um, Harlap, does that sound, I, I don't know what the, okay, Krista is saying my son had cancer and our family was all around he was how, how old was 13. krista uh 13 13 no th this was this was an adult male and I, I listen i haven't even started looking to people over here these were just the people that got my attention this afternoon that i'm trying to yeah i think, uh, uh, I think lisa's a 39 year old that might probably be it oh, okay. 39 okay lisa Where so this it? was three years ago as well okay, okay. Yeah, so this, this didn't feel like it was in the last six, nine, 12 months. This, this felt longer ago. Um, he just showed me his mother being such a comfort for him, but everyone, every, he's very missed. He talked about that, you know, very missed. And the grief process was very much like everyone else's, but the family connection and the bond around him. And the, I almost feel like he was talking to me. He showed me his mother like touching him and being very close to his face as he transitioned. There was, I almost felt like whispering. I don't want to get stuck on that part though, but the, the bond of the family being around him seemed to be the most important part and the gratitude that he had for that. Just the, um, it's almost like he said he, it, it was so peaceful. It was like he just went to sleep. So Irene, are you going to go ahead and unmute Lisa? Is yes, that and um, there are three Lisa's just with the first name Lisa. So I went to the first person. Hi, Lisa. Hi. 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 Wait, wait, did it, did it, I don't know if this will help or not, but the, I, I kind of don't feel like this was a hospital setting. So maybe it was either hospice or at home. Did he pass home? Yes, on hospice and we were all around him. Okay. It would the the so with some some of the people, if you're going to listen to the rest of this evening, some of them, it, it's very, they, they talk a lot. This was all about emotions and the connection of love that he showed me. It was just like a first breath. I was there for first breath. I was there for last breath. What an honor. What an honor. He kept going, what an honor. What an honor. And I'm just supposed to, he, the biggest thing was I was supposed to make sure I found his mother and say how much he loves you and thank you for being there. Just thank you. It was just so peaceful. He did show me, I'm not going to get as specific as I'd like on this because I'm not seeing him now. This is from earlier today. Um, do, do you or his father have a mom in spirit? Because he kept talking about his grandmother was there. Um, my mother, he actually was um, very close to her. She passed in 2005. And um, he was actually saying, because he didn't want to leave us. because It's got to be you then. Children. Okay. And he was actually saying to her, grandma, quit pulling on me. Okay, because there was a woman that just felt maternal to me. And he kept showing me, she got me, she got me. So I'm going to go with grandmother on that. It just like, I went from one arms that loved me straight into another. There was no, this was big too, that he wanted me to let you know, never alone, not a second alone. So I don't know if that was somebody's fear or concern, but he was like, I was never alone in any of this. And I just felt such peace from him. I know that I know the pain that comes with losing our child. It, it is devastating and there forever, but some of us handle it better than others. However, you handled his transition and that that energy that you were able to bring in on that, it was just beautiful and such gratitude. It felt like such a reverent moment that he was showing me. 
Yeah, it was quite quite beautiful actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's hard for a lot of people that have not had that experience to understand that even watching someone leave this world and go into the next can can be mystical in some way. It could it's it's we are just never alone and please know he is with you. Um um he, just just a tremendous amount of love and what a great kid you have. Just an amazing kid. Yep. <laughs> I know that. He what a, just like a sweet energy the whole way. Did never felt aggressive in any part of his life. Felt very looking out for others and very much caring. You know, he had some drive and wanted to do well, but it was just, he just reminded me of a little Buddha. <laughs> yeah, he was amazing. Oh, I'm I'm very sorry for your loss. I thank I will you. I will think of you, but please know he is absolutely okay. All right. I I believe that too. I know that to be true. I don't know how much of this works. As much as I know, and as long as I've been doing it, it's like a drop in the bucket that I really understand. But I could, I mean, I, I had to talk about the lady that lost two sons first because they showed up first, but your son was second. Again, just like you, you just needed to know he was absolutely so grateful. So grateful well, to you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank him, please. I, I'm just happy you showed up to get, let you know that. I hope that yes. was helpful. Um, oh, it was. <laughs> I'm just going to say this now. I'm going to move on to the next couple of ones. Um, I, I don't know if this lady is here, but Dominique says hello. I do know her and I do know her mom. Also, Teo, um, very active, really excited, wants to say hello. Um, the next one I'm going to go to, this is a little in-depth. I had a female. I picked her in her 20s, but again, eyes closed on that part. She kept showing me these bead, beaded necklace. I wrote down Mardi Gras beads, but I don't even know that they're Mardi Gras beads. They seem to be kind of a running joke in the family. The beads, the beads, something about the beads. And she did show me the women in her family, very strong, very connected. Um, she started laughing a little bit. She said, we're almost like a coven because uh, she just said all of the women are around all of the time. Does anyone connect to this young lady? Again, I couldn't really tell her age that clearly. She did feel very young and I would certainly probably put her under 30. Um, the little bit that I can remember from that, I think she had dark hair, but again, my eyes were kind of closed when I was seeing this. So we have Dora saying it might be Ashley. Uh, Rebecca saying uh, maybe 31. And then Jessica saying uh, it might be her niece who's 19. So well, I will, I will just go on with this just for just a second. Again, I thought they were Mardi Gras beads, but they almost look like wooden beads. And there was like three or four strings and everyone was laughing. So I don't know if the joke was pass the beads or maybe put more beads. I don't know. But she kept showing me that she was sitting in a chair and she kept showing me the women were around her and they felt all generational ages. What a great girl. I mean, just humor seemed to be so important, but like speaking your truth also seemed to be very important. Anyone know who this is? So Doris is saying Mardi Gras beads. So it looks like, um, uh, let's see. I'm not sure what Jessica is saying. She's saying heckles or necklace, I guess. Um, so it sounds like it resonates with Doris. Um, and would you like to go ahead and try to- unmute? Sure, I'll see if it's- um... Okay, then let's do that, Irene. I asked her to unmute. She okay, should be right here. Thank Hi, Doris. You. Are you there? Hi there. Doris, can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> hi, Doris. You need to unmute. I don't know what's happening. Let's see. Doris, where are you? I, I um Doris, does your do, do, if this is your person, does your person have a child here? Yeah, she does. She, she does. does. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll just pass the message. I, I, like, listen, it was really about the humor. It was really about keeping things very light with everybody around. It was, it was all like the strength of the women. And, and this young lady felt she had to be the strong one in the group. I couldn't tell if she was married or had a boyfriend or what. She did feel to have a child, but she's like, the kind of the burden of this fell on my shoulders. Seemed to be a little disappointment with whoever the male was in her life. But the biggest thing was about humor making sure that everything is done with humor, that seemed to be the bigger message in all of this, was just like not taking it so seriously, just smile. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> She's here. Hi, Doris. 
Hi. Hi, Dora. We Hi, think this Isabella. might be your daughter. Oh, yeah. I think that's Ashley for sure. Okay. Do, I, I don't know if things are serious around you or kind of heavy or just seeming oh, overwhelming a little bit. God, it's so heavy. But it heavy. was all it's about the humor. It was like, don't take this so seriously. And again, with the beads, that seemed to be like a joke. Um, and like, I wanted to put more on and put more on And She kept showing me women sitting around her and they were all laughing, but they felt like with these women were sage almost. They had a lot of wisdom and like the women would pass the wisdom off to themselves. That feels important as well too with this. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing that she came through because I was thinking about you actually today, Isabella. Oh, uh, well, maybe I that's was. why all of this happened the way that it did. Yeah, I was thinking about a reading that you gave me and then I was like, oh my God. And then you bring her up and I am having a hard time because her husband is not allowing me to see her son. Ugh. So I'm okay. like really, really off the charts. So I do I'm not feel that that's going to be something that is, is very prolonged. It really was just about I, I hate to keep being redundant on this, but something about just just smile through it, just smile through it. And, and here's something we can all remember. The only thing that I think we're guaranteed is that things change. I mean, if things yes. were to stay the same always, we would still have yep. our children. We would still have every part of our life that we didn't right. want to lose. So this felt really like just smile through it, just kind of the humor. And she did show me, I, I, I'll add to this a little bit because now that I'm thinking about when she was sitting in this recliner, it is a chair, I didn't want to go. It was a recliner. It looked like a rocking chair, but it had upholstery on the back of it. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. Um, but it was almost like she was struggling with something, and the women around her with the beads were trying to make her laugh or you know uplift her. And there was just a sense of, oh, I got to do this again, or oh. And she said the women all gave her the the strength and the fortitude, perseverance to know she could do it. She could do it. So she said oh she's God. still doing That's it. Awesome. I appreciate that. I love you, Isabella. Thank oh, you love, you're very welcome. I love you too. Thank your daughter. I, I hope I did that justice. And I'd really prefer you if did. I could see her when I was talking, but this is just my recall from that. Okay. Um, Thank you. Okay. You're very welcome. Um, I did, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details about this. I had 14 boys and I use boys. I'll go from... 35 under who showed me that they passed from overdose or uh, addiction issues. Um, literally, there's no way that I could have conversations with all of them, but they all kind of just lined up. They all said to tell you they're doing fine. They, most of the boys that I saw in this uh, addiction group were talking about ways that they were helping people here. And I did feel some of the people that some of some of these young men, their friends here were still struggling with addiction. And they seem to be very invested and very involved in that. Um, I know one of the boys that I saw, and I did message his mom to let him know, Teo is a part of this group. I recognized him. I know I'd spoken to him before. They all seem to be very involved in making a difference and getting things better here. It was just really very comforting that so many young people over there were, were using that kind of experience that they had here to help others. Can you hear me? Yes. yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry, I just saw in there no sound, so I was like, yeah, oh my no, God. no, I, I think everybody can. I think that it must be that the person doesn't have their volume up, and I was just about to type that. So okay, <laughs> we can uh, hear. You. So one more that I saw, um, and then I'm gonna just look and do the people that have shown up right now. Um, I did see this young kid. I, I would feel if he's over 20, it wouldn't be by much. I'd maybe put him at 23, but I could go all the way with like 17 with this young man. And he showed me his life was about fishing. Like if he could be fishing, there was nothing else. I felt maybe he lived down south. Uh, he did seem to have a little bit of twang when he talked to me a little bit, but like fishing, fishing, fishing. And I think the family had a boat or a canoe, something like this, because he just showed me once he was done with whatever he had to do, he's out on this boat. Anybody connect with the young male? Patty is saying so far that's her son. So how, how old was your son, Patty? Uh, Patty, could you type that for us? 21. I think it's him. Did, okay. did he, Patty, can, can Patty, you want to? Yeah, let's unmute Patty. Um, I read sure. is it's just Patty, not with a lot of uh, Brandon's mom. Okay. Yeah, Brandon's mom. Yes, yeah. I asked her to unmute. Okay, good. Can you say something? I can. 
Hi, Patty. I'm so Is excited. That Is that him? Brand yeah, absolutely. Brandon okay. Fish from three years old. There was no okay. stopping him. Okay. That's loved I'm it. looking at the picture right there. That's the young man that I saw today. Oh, That's yes. him on the wall behind you. I was like, that? Okay. Um, he, there was nothing this kid loved more. Um, can you tell me this? I wasn't real clear on how he passed. That didn't seem to be as important. Was this an accident or unexpected? It was extremely unexpected. And he was, he got sick and very quickly. Yeah. It, took him. It, it felt like there was no time to do it. He just kept talking about, tell them I'm still fishing over here. There was a man that felt like a grandfather or something like that with him or uncle. So I don't know. You know, there was there were actually two gentlemen with him now that I remember, but they just were like, I'm just going to go like it was Louisiana Bayou or I don't know. I, it felt very Southern to me and like this, but respectful. He kept saying ma'am to me. And I was like, please don't say that. I'm already old enough. He's like, oh yes, ma'am. Yes. Like he just, what a great, great, great kid. Um, did your son use tobacco products at all? No way. Okay. Okay. So I, if you've had a reading with me and you've had anybody that smokes, you know that I do. Oh. And so oh. I did get a little bit of lecture from this kid oh. about, like, <laughs> about smoking. I, I was laying down getting my lashes and so I was not smoking. And he felt, in, he felt strong enough to let me know that I should not smoke anymore. Just very polite, loves you so very much. Wants me, wanted me to tell you that this was quick. Didn't suffer, didn't suffer, didn't suffer. Um, the only other thing that I got from him that I, because for me, this is so visual and auditory. I struggle, the part that I never do well is what your experience is. But I, I would almost be shocked if you did not feel him touching you, like want to hold your hand. Or do you have any kind of physical sensations that you might attribute to your son? Yeah, I feel him. I feel him actually physically. Well, for a long time, holding me, physically holding me okay. up, and then it just kind of melded into an in body, like more of a surrounded. But it's 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 a good strong connection with him. I'm very grateful for. Oh, he. I. I mean, if you go somewhere, this kid goes somewhere too. He just brings his boat with you. Like he just showed me if she goes to the store, I'm going. Very protective of you, but very respectful. I just want to highlight that respectful thing because just so very polite with that. A lot of good manners. A lot of good manners. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. He's doing great. It really, but he just wanted me to make sure I said, talked about the fishing, that he is still doing the fishing, still absolutely loving that. Well, I'm so glad he's happy. Um, yeah, I, it's so hard to, for me, because my daughter was, I don't think it matters what age that our child is in the other. My daughter was seven and I kept thinking, I felt that she was okay over there, but I thought, but I think she would be more okay here. That was kind of my logic. Like as good as it is over there, it's pretty good here. She had it pretty good. But the sense that I got, your son really knew he had it good. Like the home, everybody, he just was loved and well, this was a family. He kept showing me that family was just so important and so grateful, so very grateful for that family. Like he kept going, I picked good. I picked good. I picked good. He just kept talking about picking the family. So that was beautiful. Wonderful. Really just, well, he couldn't have picked a better word than fishing. As soon as she said fishing, it was like, oh, oh, that's me. Yeah, well, he just kept showing me that and showing me that. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much, so much. for sharing Thank him you. with me. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just going to go to doing the regular part that I normally do, which is where I look in this direction and it looks like I'm staring at my wall. Um, I'll just start seeing people come in at this. Um, okay, let me get going because I hear a lot of talking. Um, so I've got a young male here. Uh, I'm going to put him under 30. Does anyone have a young? I'm going to try to be more specific. So let's go 24 to 28. And this young man was shot. Anyone connect with the young male that was shot? I'm looking right and I, now. Listen, I only see people that are OK. So I know that if I see this young man, he's jumping up and down he's like, I wish I, he is fine. He is absolutely OK. OK, the age have... don't get stuck on my age. I just think he's in his 20s. I want to put him a little bit later 20s, but I wouldn't get too concerned about that. I've asked her to unmute. Christy, do you want you? Would you please unmute? Hello. Hi, Christy. Hi. Hi. How old was your son? He was 22. OK, was he with other people when this happened? Um, he, he was at, um, his apartment and there were people in the house. Okay. Yes, but not. Okay. Had he just recently come out of a vehicle? 
or were people he, he just kept showing me a car and people getting in and out of a car and then going upstairs is what he kept showing me he's right here um i'm just uh i i'm getting from this young man that i don't think you could tell him very much because like he says he knew it all you understand that absolutely i got six boys that's my boy age. i know this that i'm the smartest i've ever been at this age i know everything but i yeah. think this young man like really thought that there's something about him trying to show people he can do this or this independence and i feel just a sense of i got this i got this um some of the things he's showing me that he was involved in eh, a little not so above board all the time but he's like no but i'm a good person and i believe him he is a good person yeah. um yeah. Do you, did you save some old text from him? Yes. So he said, read those again, read those again. I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, I don't know that I understand that. Is September important to you? September is uh, his brother's birthday, just passed. Wait, he just said something about September. I, I typically never get dates and I really never, I don't even focus on the names, but I know I heard him say September and he's trying to hand me something which would allow, when they try to hand me something, that's usually my sign for birthday, anniversary, thing like that. Um, I don't think you have a lot of closure on this. None. I have none. And I think, unfortunately, that might continue just for a little while. You show me. I just don't know that there's going to be kind of closure. But I do think people have talked about this. And I think whatever this group is, people are afraid of getting in trouble or turning someone in or snitching. It's like nobody's going to snitch about this. Nobody's going to snitch. Uh, he loves you very much. I think the bigger thing from him is I'm supposed to say, however you connect with him, that needs to be the important part. It's, um, was he very free with the four letter words? Cause I'm hearing a bunch of them right now. It's fine. Yes, it's not offensive to me, but I don't want to offend anybody else. Like, yes. like j this is what's important. Let all of that other stuff go. I think you do get answers, but it still feels like it's a little while off for that. But yeah. I, um, the bigger connection seems to be that he just wants the connection with you and him. Um, hold on. I think from what he's showing me, you might have very recently been dealing with some anger or the anger stage. Of, how about irritation stage of grief? Like just some frustration. He said, she'll get over it. It's fine. Um, she'd get mad at me all the time. He said, but I kind of like there's something about his words or his actions that would just fight. He just said, I love you, mom. It's OK. It's OK. He's crying. It's not a, like I tell everybody, it's not a boohoo. It's a love. They'll, they will put their emotions onto me. So I just kind of replicate him. So this is literally what he's doing. Um, he's now he's showing me himself like seven and he's just a cute little innocent kid, light hair, not as light as mine, but it's light. Um, and like just holding your hand. I don't know if this is the first day of school or what, but just that's how he wants you to be with him. Yeah. That's how I see him all the time as my little boy, like seven, eight years old. He was like my best buddy. The he looks such a cute kid. I, I, I mean, he's just such a, there's yeah. such an innocence and a connection with you. And he's like the hand holding thing seems to be important to him. Just like, I keep looking up at you and just needing you to know, thank you. You kept me safe. He also says he's sorry for all the talking back, like the <laughs> arguing, things like that. He's just sorry for that, but he's taking ownership in that, and he just loves you. He loves you. Um, I love I don't, you. I, I just don't know that I'm going to understand this. Um, I think you've got something in your car that reminds you of him. Do, do you, like, have something over your rearview mirror? I don't know that I'm understanding him correctly. Is there anything? If you have something in your car that reminds you of him, or that is his, or even a piece of clothing or something, that's what he's trying to show me, but it feels like it's in a vehicle. We I have tried his to be truck. You have his truck. Okay, maybe that's what he's trying to show me. There's something about a vehicle and something being in the vehicle of his, but maybe just the vehicle is his. I, I'm never 100% accurate on everything, although I do try. Um, I don't know if this, do you have other children? I have one other son. Did he have a girlfriend? Uh, he did. Several? Yes. Okay, because so I'm supposed to say, tell the ladies hello. It's like that. Tell the ladies hello. <laughs> what am I going to do? That's with my that? boy. Oh, yeah, hello. That I'm is my boy. He's like suave. 
Yes. He is just Mr. Cool. Uh, yes. And I wish he'd turn off the rap music because that is oh. not my particular thing right now, but it's like, bum, 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 like that. That's but tell the ladies hello. Yeah. I think people got a tattoo for him too. I'm not sure about that, but. Okay. Yeah. I hope this was helpful. He's yeah. great. He, he's just a sassy little kid, seriously, but he's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And I think everybody around you, because he's very watchly saying like very protective. He's going to watch kind of like that type of thing. So please, everybody is just going to be okay. He's saying everybody is okay. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thank yes, you for sharing very. him with me. Oh, okay. Let me you. see. So seriously, no joke. There's probably 500 people over here. I'm just going to try to get as many as I can. Um, oh, this is a very young child. Um, I put this boy under 12. I, I maybe go eight to 12. Um, does anyone have a young male? I'm going to probably put him eight to 10 maybe 11. Um, and I do feel this was cancer with this young male. He's just showing me being kind of swollen or, or puffy from, I, I think this is my. No one has taken anything. If we don't take the cancer part, how about the, 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 the swollen or the puffy? Like there was medication that would have caused him to be a little swollen. Krista, you think this might be, was, was he sick before he transitioned? Oops. So oh. cancer? Okay. okay. Uh, Krista, well, that's Kara. Um, oh. And Krista, her son. Uh, there's, there's something about the puffiness that I'm supposed to mention because this is, he's just saying, talk about the puffy, talk about the puffy. So Kara is saying very swollen from steroids and her son, Jimmy, Past of cancer when he was 10. Does that sound okay. like that I think that's right? probably him. Um, okay. But Chris is saying that he went, her son went through treatment that made him puffy as well. So, okay. Uh, well, the, I, I, here, here's the message for this young man. Um, I'm just supposed to say, I love you. Thank you. There's a sense of, I think this kid was maybe a little introverted when he was here or just not that. And understandably so if he was sick or missed a lot of school or, or had, you know, whatever was going on, with the, he just wants me to tell, like, there's a confidence now. He feels much stronger about himself. I, I feel comfortable talking to people. Uh, has he, ha, have either of these kids been gone at least one year or pretty close to that? So Krista and Kara, could you let us know? Okay, uh, I would go. I would go at least a year, if not more. Um, so I'm supposed to say this young male actually has like a little crush on someone now that he says would not have happened here. So there is a confidence that's growing, like a, just a, a a confidence with him. I hope that helps. If nobody really connects with all of that, I'll just leave that. I think Krista's connecting, but Krista maybe, uh, isn't. Yeah. So. Um, uh, Irene, could you yes. um, see? Yes, I've about... asked her to unmute. Okay, great. So, Hello? Chris, there she is. Hi, Krista. Hi. Um, do we think this might be your son? Yeah, my son um, went through a lot of treatment, all different kinds that made him puffy. Did, did he have to not socialize as much, or was he not as social with? Okay, look, I think. Fun. Yeah, but I also think that maybe I just don't have that much exposure to other kids yet. But I feel this is health related from what he's showing me. He went he um, sick for seven years. So was he was he like on top of what was going on with him? Very. We were very so he's like he wants to tell me the treatment that he got and this doctor did that. And like I feel like this kid could have been an MD with the knowledge that he had. You yes. show me I was on top of it. You too. Yeah. But I almost feel like this young man would like, oh, you forgot about this mom, or when you're passing the message on to somebody else, like this is what the doctor said today, go, and you forgot this. It's something like that. So around you, I feel very comfortable talking. I feel very safe and outgoing. But he showed me, I, the biggest part of this message is, he now feels that way about everybody. And he's showing me a lot of social circle around him. I just feel very outgoing. So there's a young girl that I'd say, I put her about 12 or 13. They're holding hands. Like it feels really cute and sweet, like little girlfriendy <laughs> stuff. Um, hold on. I don't know that I'm going to get this right. I apologize. 
Do you have his shoes still or did he like white tennis shoes? I have his Converse shoes. Okay, because these seem to be very important to him. Um, so maybe like we could get those in a shrine or something. Eric, like they I need to have a very special <laughs> place of importance because he showed me they were very important to him. Um, <laughs> do you have a necklace to commemorate him or something? Yes, I do. I okay, because he's trying to point a necklace out as well too. <laughs> okay, and did you get a tattoo too? I did. <laughs> like the tattoo. Yes, it has his okay. uh, hand. <laughs> oh, I love that. I absolutely love it. Please know he's just doing beautiful. Do, do, do you have just another minute? I want to stay with you just yeah. for a minute. Do you, how do you experience him? Do you ever hear him talking to you? I do. I hear Okay, because he's like, she hears me, right? She hears me, right? And it feels as audible that you might hear him as I do. Um, he does says <laughs> he kind of follows you around. He's, listen, I, I'm not going to say bossy. But I would almost say bossy. Okay. I would just almost say, like, don't forget to do this. He feels like a little adult to me. He really, really does. Like, there's this little grown up in this little body right here. Um, and he absolutely just took away all of the puffiness. I'm supposed to tell you all of that's gone. I know everyone over there is fine. My Because I don't get names, I don't look for names, I don't try to do that. I ask, I want a lot of personality, but I ask that they show up the way that you would last recognize them in case I can't get that information, at least I can describe them to you, physically describe them. So I know that we don't stay in that condition. Everyone is perfect over there. So please not, you look, literally all of this is very slim. All, everything now is very slim with him. He wants me to tell you he's now five foot five. He lies, he's not, he lies. Why am I covering my face? <laughs> he's not that tall yet, but he, is, he says he's getting taller. He's, he's doing great. Um, Hold, did you promise him an animal? <laughs> he uh, was always wanting animals, specifically lizards. Okay. Well, he said she promised an animal, but I'm supposed to say he's got the animal now over there. He's got the yeah. animal. I do not, thank God, I'm not seeing a lizard. I do not care for amphibians <laughs> like that or rats, like none of that stuff. But he's got the animals. And he also looks like he's doing just beautifully. The social thing feels important to let you know that he now has this connection with everybody. And he almost, he, he looks like a leader to me, literally a leader over there. I feel like mentally he was a leader, but he was very quiet and. Was he very good with like science STEM things? Well, Cause I he said like, I feel like this kid could discover a cure for cancer or write this, the map for the space shuttle. Neither of those things I have much understanding of as you can tell with mapping the space shuttle. But like this kid is intellectually on a level that is crazy and there's something about just remembering all the data or information that he says he just does beautifully 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 yes um I'm researching <laughs> I don't I I know this is for you but I think it might be a message for someone else in your family does your family have like a family bible or a book that people would have written names in my grandmother does it's um a really old thing generation this looks like a family bible to me and he's just showing his name Elizabeth within Bob. that okay I hope that was helpful. What a great kid. What just a great kid. He's way too smart for me though. Sorry. Like he's just he's beyond every bit of my understanding. Me no too. joke. So you had that. In, okay. Like he's, he would, he's doing. He could run circles around me with his smart level of smartness. Okay. And he was a big brother. Yes. Um, so he, he I'll, I'll, I'll end it with this. There's something about his patience now is just bigger he says. his patience is bigger but this feels like having to do with being a brother or a big brother um his wasn't that patient like don't do that or stop doing that parent <laughs> okay yeah i think a lot of personality traits stay the same when we're over there so thank goodness for that that's that's helpful for me but he's doing beautifully absolutely beautiful and i'm so sorry for your loss and uh, thank you for sharing him with me i appreciate it thank you're you. very welcome Okay, um, um, I've got a young lady, oh, this is going to be tough for her age. She looks like she could be 24, but I really think she's in her teens. She just has a beautiful makeup on, um, and her passing feels very unexpected. So I don't, hold on, let me see if I can get house. This might have been a car accident. I do not feel this is addiction, and she certainly isn't showing me any that kind of mental health problems. That would be the other, but this feels like a car accident beautiful be like porcelain skin i don't i've never had skin that looked like this um just stunning 
this young lady might have had like a part time job or something. She showed me he's kind of responsible here. Anyone? I, that's so general. I'm no, so sorry. I'm trying to get. Thing. Yes, she her daughter is 23 blonde and then Anna is saying or Anna is saying my daughter Leanne was unexpected and beautiful. Um, my internet is becoming unstable. Uh, yeah. Darn it. Sorry. Um, so Irene, can I you think continue? this young yes, lady was I like on her. She I, either going home from school or headed to a part time job, something like this. There's a sense of being very responsible, too. So if there were siblings in the home, she would certainly be some like I think people would not worry. She'll call when she gets there. She knows what she's but there's a sense of her being responsible. That's important, important to all this, too. I think this I, is going to match yeah, for a lot of people. I think, I think it's is... Cheryl, though. Cheryl's taking a lot of it, Isabel. Okay. So I asked her to unmute and, you know, we can talk to, you can talk to her. Cheryl, do you want to speak? Hi, Cheryl. No. Cheryl, have I, have I given you? No. That's the end. Okay. Did she sometimes not wear the glasses? Yes, she didn't often. She sometimes okay. did not. She does not have glasses on right now. She says, oh, I didn't wear those all the time. I did not wear those very responsible. I think people could leave the Fort Knox open for this young lady and know it would be absolutely safe. J just a big sense of being very responsible. Um, hold on one second. What she's letting me feel is that your mind must just be tortured. Did she suffer? Did she suffer? Was there any, did she suffer? I, the biggest message, this young lady, all of that description, this was so fast. I didn't feel it, mom. I didn't feel it. like I did not suffer. I did not suffer. She is, she, she does, she's very soft-spoken, but this, her voice is getting louder. So I really need you to hear. I did not suffer. I did not suffer. And I need to also say this. She's showing me, I, I would feel fairly confident saying this was not her fault they questioned uh she was hit by a train <laughs> they questioned but the medical examiner ruled it an accident so here I, i'm i don't get to share this very often but i'll share it with you so when i see someone in spirit that has passed by suicide um they always have a ring around them I don't know. I've always seen that. I, I have seen this since I was a baby. No joke. Like all of my memories, my life would be very weird if this went away because this is such a normal part of my life. Your daughter does not have a ring around her. I um, Usually someone that passes that they're very open and they talk a lot about that process and what was going on. There's not, there, there, she did not lead with that, nor do I see her the way that I would see someone typically that passed by suicide. So this feels unexpected. This was, this is not her fault. She's going, not my fault. And I do not feel she's taking any responsibility for this. How, how recent was this? August 15th. That is my daughter's birthday and my daughter's transition day. So of this year? Yes. Okay. Can you reach out to Elizabeth when we're done and just get away to Elizabeth has a way to contact me. I would like to give you some time so that you can talk to her. She is, if I see her, I know where she is. I call this spot heaven, whatever word you want to use. I only see people that are in that spot. Um, this explains so much. Like she is just not yelling, but yelling, mom, I'm okay. It was an accident. It was an accident. It was an accident. She's too responsible. Listen, I think she'd had her moments where she just wouldn't share everything that was going on with her. She showed me kind of pulling away a little bit. If she doesn't want you to know something, oh, you're a good snooper. She said you would find <laughs> stuff out. <laughs> okay, you understand? Like, I feel like if she didn't talk, you're going to be looking for clues of something. Please contact Elizabeth. I would love to give you some time to have with her. She is fine. That's the young lady I'm seeing, but she does not have glasses on. And she can do it a beautiful job with makeup as well, too. She's very she good was, with that. She was famous for her eyeliner. I mean, <laughs> she's just perfect looking. Um, and this is one more thing, too. I don't know how many friends she had around her, probably fairly social, but she was a good friend. I think maybe she had two really good friends, one best friend. But like, she's not showing me I can get along with everybody, but I don't feel... I don't feel the need to do that. Like, I feel like I'm just okay with my small group of people. 
she said that you taught her how to be a very good friend and she loves you very much. I'm so, so, so sorry for your loss. That is, it is just almost incapacitating for a little while. So please reach out. I would love to spend some time with you, my gift, so we can connect with her, okay? okay. I'm happy I got her, I'm happy she got my attention. No joke, there's, there's so many people here, they're deep, deep, deep. She kind of pushed her way to the front and I'm sure now to let you know that she was okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, hold on, just bear with me one second. Did, um, are you married? Yes. Did her dad, is her dad recently got like a police report or something like that? Um, Did somebody just get like important paperwork about her but she's kind of giving that role to her dad? Uh, he got the death certificate. <laughs> okay. Um, she, she wants me to tell you that whatever, I think I'm going to give it the death certificate, although that's not what she showed me. She said important paper, but felt tied to her transition. Please let him know she was there with him when he got this. I almost feel like this cannot be real. She's showing me him holding this like shock. I'm literally in shock that this is real, that this is going on. Um, the police, I mean, um, her father and I are not uh, married, but we're very close and, okay. uh, um, no longer married, but he the police came to his house. He called me. Oh, so I don't know. Uh, I don't this know feels very means. recent that this paper was given to him from what she's showing me. So I, I would probably go with that to a police report, something like that. that she's showing. So she, maybe I, I, we can talk more about this, but she, she, please let him know. And I will let you know as well, too. She is showing me just kind of almost being on top of the two of you on top. Have you had a dream about her? No, I've been praying to have a dream about her. Uh, Try that she, tonight. She has not, you know, shown up. I've been, I've been meditating. I've been trying to connect in every way that I could and talking to her. And We'll, we'll um, go over some of the ways that you might. So, so has there been any kind of like electrical stuff or sounds that you've heard any kind of? Uh, the other day I was talking to her and all of a sudden the tree outside my house was full of about 15 birds all squawking really loudly at me. And I thought maybe that was her. Um, my computer came on the other day. She's showing um, me more electrical stuff. So I would probably go with the computer. I don't doubt maybe the birds were her, but I can, I only, I always want to be honest with people. She's showing me things happening inside of the house. And she's showing me kind of like, she, when somebody goes like this, looks like they're diving in. That's my sign for they're showing me trying to get in your dreams. And let me say this. You're not doing anything wrong that you haven't dreamed of her. I, and probably she's shown up in there and it's just not a recall. I didn't see my daughter for one year, one year. And I see people immediately after they pass, just instant. I couldn't find my daughter. I know for me, it was my grief. It was my just the heaviness. How, how do I do life now? I just, the pain, it is overwhelming in the moments. It is just seems unbearable. So for me, I will speak for myself. That was a real impediment for me connecting with my child because of my grief. And I know that's just the way that it was supposed to go. Um, I don't think you're going to have that issue with your daughter and, and we can talk and I can see if there's anything I can do to help. I'm so, so, so sorry for your loss. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to get one more in real quick. Um, Please know if I have not gotten to your child, it's not for their effort of not trying. I don't think I've ever been as overwhelmed by people in spirit as today was for me. Um, so I've got a, a lady here that, like she was a cut up of the family. She was the, she was the clown. She says she was the comic relief. She looks, I'm going to have a hard time placing her age as well, too. I'd maybe put her in her late 20s, but I'd go early 30s. Um, humor was this lady's, and I feel like she passed unexpected. Anybody connect with that? I don't know how confident, she, I, I will explain why I'm saying this. I do not know how confident she was in her appearance when she was here, but I'll tell you this, because she's pointing out to me, like, I just love all of this now. She's just so, the confidence. There has to be other siblings in the home or other maybe, I don't know who lived in the home, but it feels like a lot of people were in and out of the home. She was the comic relief. I think this young lady might've been pretty close with her dad too. Anyone connect with who this is? Um, 
we have two people. Let's see. Uh, uh, so, oh, it's going up too quickly, though. Um, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'm going to just keep getting some messages okay, and just see if I can figure out anything else about her. Um, do, do, do not get stuck on this, but did grandparents at any point live in the home with in, any of you? Um, Ever, even if it's just one or so, not full time? Let's see. So Anna is saying, yes, uh, grandparents did. And so she also has, let's see, uh, she's also said that her daughter was 26 when she passed. So um, I think that it might be Anna. Uh, okay. I, maybe on, let's on, try that. Yeah. Okay. There are two people that are on with just Anna. So I'm going to have to unmute the first person and see if it's okay. her. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hold Hi, on, Anna. Janice, Janice, Janice. I'm Janice. sorry. Very close okay. to dad, very close to dad. She said very close to dad. And that's what the young lady showed me, very close to dad. Okay. Did, okay. If grandparents at all ever lived in the home, I think this has got to be it. I so, lived, um, um, my daughter, Leanne, um, uh, I lived with my two other daughters um, with um, her grandparents. Okay. Was she very close to the males in the family? Like felt like it, this just felt like easy. And I'm joking up and like, she just showed me, she felt much more comfortable with males, this woman, our family member males. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't, she just said my jokes weren't always funny, but she thought they were funny and she, like, they feel like inside stories, things like that. Um, did, did you work like your butt off when she was growing up? Yeah. <laughs> like maybe two, three jobs. Okay. She wants like, she just can't believe how hard her mom worked. She gets got it done, got it done, got it done. Um, she wants to thank you for that. Like this community family or this extended family. She's so grateful for this. Absolutely. So grateful for this. Um, did she have dark hair when she was here? Okay. She said to tell you, like, she wants to color it, but she doesn't think she's going to do that. Cause she's just not that much of a girly girl to do that, but she, she's doing great. She says she's just doing absolutely great. Does anyone, do any of the males in your family tinker on cars or like mechanical? Um, I had, um, her, um, uh, I guess would be, uh, uh uncle, that, um, her uncle who passed away, um, was a mechanic. That she okay. Was She's showing me, so please know that she's with somebody over there that like fixes cars. That's um, crazy. like she's not alone over there. That there's a some your grand your grandmother, not her grandmother, so her great grandmother would be over there with her. There's a man that fixes cars. There's a couple other people. Like she went straight from this family to that family. She says, um, hold on, was she sick before she passed? Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Whatever was going on with her, maybe there was some emotional issue. I don't, she's not showing me super specific, but like she just says, tell them I'm fine. And all of that is here. It just didn't follow her here. Um, she does. Oh my God. I know that kid. So I've got, she's right next to another boy that I know his mom. He passed of cancer, young man. Um, I know her, um, Antoinette, I think. So um, she's she just feels very comfortable with boys. So she takes she welcomes a lot of young men over there. She kind of helps them find their way around. She's doing great. She's doing great. Um, this is hilarious. It's probably been four months since I shaved my legs. I'm not even joking about that. And how personal is that? She said to tell you, like, she's shaving now. Oh, she not okay. shaving my legs. <laughs> what a weird thing for me to four say. months. Yes, but she said oh, it's four months that she's transitioned. So, okay. um, yeah, she would go. Um, I know she went a little while without shaving, um, and she was so excited after um, she was um, pregnant and um, she had a baby, and she was so excited when she got to shave. So, I'm, okay, well, I'm just supposed to say that she's doing good. She loves you very much. I, I, what a great. You, Everybody here is so watched over and so loved. She just, I, I there's an exuberance to life. There is just this joy. I, did she have some mental health issues when she was here? Was she, um, was she like very anxious? Yeah. Was she worry? Because she, I just feel like if there, I'm worrying and I'm going to make something this small into something this big. That's the kind of, I'm not talking about 
clinical depression, anything like that, yeah. bipolar. She just told me like yeah. worry, 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 obsessing. And I feel she would have felt much safer, much more comfortable being close to home. But like, yeah. my God, I can shave in my legs. She says, now I'm just shaving. Everything's, she's doing great. Everybody is just doing really well. Thank you for sharing her with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, absolutely. I hope this was I have a reading helpful. with you in October, so I'm excited for that. Oh, cool. Oh, I look, oh, I look forward to yes. knowing her a little bit better because she, she's quite a character. I like, does she have a child? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have that child? No. I, oh, well, um, I see them both, but now okay. I don't have uh, okay. my oldest but, daughter. But I, I, she, here's the other thing that she's adding in. Listen, I think people talk about her and her kids. Or, she showed me one child. Please don't get stuck on that. Sometimes they'll just show me one for others. Um, but like, I think her child or children will know all about her because people talk about her. She's saying like, I, I, I think any memory or your mom did this or you did this or, you know, oh, you're like your mom on that. Um, yes, I was just talking to she, her. Daughter. How old are her kids? Are one of them like a really good reader? Um, well, five years old and she loves to read. I was reading to her today. And um, Okay, there's I something about the reading and it's like, more of this, yeah. please, more of this, please, more of this, yes, please. Yes. Yes, she loves to be read. I loved it. And I was just telling her today that her mommy loved to eat the end of the pizza crust. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I keep her very much alive in her daughter's eyes. Yeah. And they are mm -hmm. very much alive. And, and, and yes, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that they're not here in the same way, but we go on and go on. And I know most of you have heard this story about me, but I will add it again with my NDE that I had. Well, I need to adjust the time because God only knows it's probably 13 or 14 years ago now. But I, I mean, after my daughter transitioned, I was such a hover mom. And most of you know, we just don't ever want any other loss to happen again. And being in spirit when I, my NDE, I, I'm still kind of a hover mom, just to be honest, but I, I, I was so connected. I, I was more connected to my children here than I was when I was here. And it really just, it was the best experience of my life is knowing that, oh my gosh, I still can have impact. I still can be a part. I can still watch them over their life. I'm still a part of them. Even there, I am more so a part of them than I ever was here. I was really good when I came back for about two years. And then I just kind of went off the deep end again with that. You know, everybody's got to text me before I can go to sleep, but yeah. It, they are just a part of us always. It is impossible for any separation to occur ever. It just, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I totally believe that. hundred percent, yeah. She's trying to give you a hug. Like I'm just trying to give yeah. you, but it's the biggest bear. Like I just want to squeeze you like the biggest hug in the world. Did she do give good hugs? We were both crying. This is what I show up to work with every day, so. I'm real sorry for your loss. Please know, I can't. I didn't want to say loss anymore. I'm sorry yeah, that my daughter is no exactly longer here. No, I know where she is. Yeah. Okay. It's been a challenge, but I know where she is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hope this was helpful. I, I thank you so much for sharing all of these people with me, and I I hope this was helpful for everybody this evening. Please, if you did not get a message, know it is just because my voice is tired, not because they did not show up. I, I really thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Isabella, this is just absolutely incredible. I just want to tell you that you said that her daughter was with a boy who you knew the mom of, uh, Antoinetta. And actually, she was just as you were saying that just at that moment, signing off and saying how beautiful tonight was. So I'm sure that you're right about that. And oh, well, if, if she, so she did not hear it. Well, no, she didn't get to hear it because right okay. when well, if anybody were, gets to talk to her, please let her know that um, the last lady that I talked to is right next to her son. And he's just doing really beautifully. I, every, listen, there's no joke. I don't think I could even count how many people are over here. And most of them are young people and children, but there's a couple of grandparents and relatives that showed up as well too. I just, this is such an honor for me. Thank you so much for trusting me and, and allowing me to, oh, to Isabel, share all of so your children. Thank you. It's such an honor. I thank just you. want to say to everyone here that Isabella texted me before the meeting and she said, are you expecting a lot of people this evening? Because I have had so many kids. She said, I think there's about 500 kids who have shown no up today. Joke. And I said, yeah, we have a lot of people. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a this lot, is this lot, is and not yeah. only that, but it's important for everybody to understand that all of our kids are together. They're having a blast. I mean, they're helping each other to be able to communicate. And just the fact that some kids who get over there who transition on the 15th of August are able to communicate like that. They're showing each right. other to do it, which is just wonderful. Uh, I'm, I'm just honored. I am just so grateful. Thank you so much. And thank you oh, all thank for you. being here too. And um, I don't know if Irene is already- yes. everyone can unmute and say thank you and goodbye. And uh, thank, thank you. you. Yes, yes, that was amazing. amazing. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.